beauty at one time first of all i just want to say a big thank you for those of you that have been supporting me on this channel i say may the good lord bless you thank you guys so so much for my new subscribers thank you so much you are welcome to the family guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i'm going to be making my akara so guys i have been craving for akara for the past one month eh? so today i closed earlier so i just decided to make it today so guys let me introduce you guys to the ingredient which i'm going to be making for this akara so guys so over here are my ingredients first of all this is the beans which i'm going to be using this is olu 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 beans beans flour so this is the beans i'm going to be using so here i have my i have my scotch bonnet pepper and the my onions i also have a pinch of saute as you can see the scotch bonnet pepper have been diced and the onions too have been diced so why over here is my mesa also here yeah, I have a bone and my spatula here. Yeah. So this is the bone I'm going to be using for the miss for the missing. Why right over here I have my water. So guys, let's get started. What I'm going to do first of all is to add the beans into, into the mixer. So guys, I'm going to start by adding my my beans into my bone. So I'm going to measure the bone. So this is one cup. This is my full cup. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. So I'm going to measure it. This is one cup. I'm going to add it to the bone. So I'm going to be using two cups. This is another cup, which is making it two cups. So what I'm going to do now is just to add water and start mixing. So I'm going to add, add some water. So I'm going to be using the same cup. To add the water to it I'm going to take first of all one cup so I'm going to be adding it little by little, little by bit little by little guys so I'm going to start by adding little to it then start with my spoon first so I'm going to start with the messy as you can see And I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm just going to pour all in. I'm going to be adding a little bit more of water so I'm going to take my cup again pour some water into it so I'm going to measure it because I don't want the consistency to be too too watery or too light so I'm going to add a little more because I want it to be very fluffy that is why I'm going to use my hand mixer for the mixture You can see is the consistency is okay now so i'm going to go ahead with my hand mixer so guys what i'm going to do now is just to cover my missing bone then take my blender let me quickly show you guys the consistency after missing it for about 10 minutes so this is the consistency guys the consistency i want this is the consistency so what i'm going to do now is just to add a pinch of salt so i'm not going to be adding all a pinch of salt 
so i'm still going to be adding my onions to it too my onions and my squash bonnet pepper i'm going to add a little so i'm not going to add all because of my kiss because they don't like so much pepper so i'm going to add all the whole onions to it then just give it a, a nice step before we start frying it so guys the next stage is to start frying so i just placed my uh, my pot on the fire now so i'm going to be adding my you know my granite oil to the pot so i'm going to leave it to out for about 10 minutes then then i will show you guys when i start frying it so guys we're about to fry now so my hoya is hot and i have my you know my plate and my and my paper on top just for you to drain out the oil excess oil so i'm just going to start now because the oil is hot i'm going to bring down my gas bring down the number then start to fry So guys, this is the last, uh, this is the last pan, guys. So I'm just going to remove it now, then open one and show you guys inside. So it's done. I'm going to turn off my gas. This is it guys i don't know if you guys can see it clearly so i'm just going to open it to see this is how it looks so so yummy and it tasted you know, very good so guys with this akara you can eat it with a custard with pap anything of your choice like me, for example, a family can just, you know, make a pap, a camu, or whatever you call it. Just make a camu on Saturday or you can use it for breakfast. Use it to eat it. You can also eat it with bread. So, so many families like it with bread. Like me, I don't really like pap. I don't really like a camu or whatever you call it. I love, I love to eat mine with bread. 
just you know sit down very well open the bread open it little too and put it inside oh my god and we just sit down and then we finish it that is it guys if today is your first time coming across my video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also share thank you all and may god bless you all bye bye and see you in my next video remain blessed